true story. Picture behind the picture of Dorian Gray. Was it true all along? Uh, an astounding investigation by Professor Alistair R. Malmax from the Miskatonic University uh, uncovers the secrets of this magnificent work of by one of all-time greatest writers, Oscar Wilde. Was Dorian Gray real? Did he have an insight into the esoteric? Is the novel filled with cryptic clues for the in initiated? There we go. I can I can read it. I promise. It's super tiny. Uh, read to find out. Hmm. I don't like having my back to things right now. Scooch it closed. No? Nothing? Okay. So, I don't like the creepy man-child on the wall. This guy, oh, is all about the booze. Nope. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you tonight. It's all about you and me. Let's make it special. Your you promised. You promised. And you didn't deliver. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some hard times right now. I really do. That's why I agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you could draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brax Brickstone, Whispered Tale Publishing House. So, um... To be fair, that's kind of an awesome Little Red Riding Hood storybook. I would totes let my kid see that because, like, she'd be all about it. Oh my gosh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go back a second. So it was cool up until this moment, right? Like, creepy looking book, fine, whatever. That's a little bit much. That may be a little too far, a little, little too far, guy. I don't know if that was the direction we should take with that. Oh, that's probably also fine. You know, all the blood. We're just gonna hide the body under the bed. You know, and then, ah, rip Red Riding Hood's face off. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. <sighs> well then, that's probably fine. I can see why your friend is not amused. We're just gonna, we're gonna turn all the lights on. So this will be our thing, okay? We're gonna turn all the lights on, we're gonna open all of the doors and cabinets, and I'm walking over glass, that's fine. Uh, and that's, that's gonna be our ammo for this game. So I think I'm just gonna play through, and then I'll cut it in certain sections, so we'll see what that, what that does. Do I need this? Can I take that? There's gotta be like a way through the bookcase, right? I mean. Nothing. Okay. I can't open those drawers. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn all the lights on. That's really not cool. Why, why creepy little kids gotta be throwing basketballs at me? Why you gotta be like that, creepy little child? That's locked.
Guys. The music stopped. Oh, wow. Beer! <laughs> it says beer. Guys. Okay, so looks like a happy dad and, you know, a meh kid and then a very sad mommy. Okay. Don't sneak up behind me. Nope. Nope. Not gonna touch that yet. That's gonna set something off. Nothing? Why is one of the dolls missing a head? Two, two, three, three. Okay, so I just want to make sure that, like, those don't move. So, remember how many dolls are up on those shelves. Yeah, I can see a reflection in the creepy little... I play the whole thing. It's getting more aggressive in its musicness. I don't know how I feel about that, guys. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing that's it. There's still only ten dolls, and there's still ten dolls, so plus. Guys, it's getting creepier up in here. We didn't look at all these paintings. That one's creepy with the dude face. I don't know about that. Don't know about that. All right. We're gonna leave the bloody room for last. Primed for everything to be awful right now. Nope, come back. I need you. Open. Okay, close you. Did not like that. New face of music. At a night at the opera becomes a night to remember something. Might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredibly talented multi-instrumentalist gave an astounding performance last night, winning over creepy noises. Even the most ardent naysayers. She was simply astounding. I haven't seen such passion, energy, and skill in years, stated famed pianist Daniel Richter. 
He was not alone in his praise. It seems that even Anthony Giles, one of something or another's harshest critics, have finally seen the light. Giles had previously made disparaging comments about the artist, stating that there's more to performing music than enthusiasm and a pretty face. When asked if, after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets these words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said, yes. We caught up with the star, and they decided not to keep the rest of the article. I think it's lulling me into a false sense of security right now. Like, everything's fine! Don't freak out! There's no need to be nervous. Ooh, angry. Why would you keep all the wine bottles in your room? Scratch that. That's an amazing idea. I need to talk to Goat tonight. <laughs> we need a place for wine bottles in our room. Sorry, couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. Love you. So he's an artist. She is apparently some musical badass. What is that going on? Why would you put that above your bed? You know what's above my bed? Like birds on a tree and it's purple so it makes my face very happy but that is not happy. That is terrifying. That looks like like you're prepping for some terribleness to happen. I don't want to look in the mirror. That's a pretty ring. I can has it. My precious. Nope. What's this? Uh, Galactic's grand opening in flames. Disastrous fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. A long-awaited opening of the Galactic department store turned into hell on Earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors man managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that a lar at least a dozen... People have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald uh, Sheffield, has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. Well, that's unfortunate. There's no, like, date. You notice how, like, I keep getting... I don't think I've seen a date yet. Okay. Wow. So, I think this is her side of the bed. I think she's the wine person. I think she's the one that does all the drinking. Okay, so our choices are down to the basement or the bloody doorway. Can I turn these on? <laughs> Is there a light switch? Oh, there's a missing painting. I just realized that. Okay. And it's locked. Right, so downstairs again. I don't want to go in the basement. Yeah! Why? Don't do that. Don't alert people. Ah! Why? Why would you shut the door on me like that? That's not nice. Okay, so, um, oh, get it right this time. All right, then, that's aggressive. Look, there's like another, the same painting. And then there's like this other one where it's like the Grim Reaper trying to kill somebody with like something swinging from an alligator or something like, doesn't that look like an alligator? I don't really know what's going on in that picture. Okay. 
Ja. Paints. Okay, stepping on more paints. That's probably fine. Can I leave colorful footprints? That would be kind of cool. Look at there's like a dragon and a gargoyle and then like this really pretty woman like draped on a bed. It's like he's he's the dragon's like peeking. What is this? It's like a like a really big baby bottom and like a hawk stealing the baby. This is all totally fine by the way. They're all broken. Does he like throw them away after every use? Does he not like? I don't want to pull that off yet. I'm pretty sure something happens when I do that. There's more wine. They drink a lot. Oh my god. I need to hang out with these people. Well, actually, I should figure out whether or not he murdered his wife or not first. Or she murdered him. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done, before you go to sleep. Well, hang on, hang on, wait, wait a second. Okay, there's... Oh. Oh, isn't that nice? It gives you a little... I just noticed that. You can hit the space bar. Okay, bottoms up. Nothing. 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 Whole lot of nothing. They don't keep very much of importance in their drawers. Okay. Alrighty then. I don't... I don't know if that's okay. I don't know if that's okay. There's just like goo smeared on the thing. Just bleh. I don't care. But <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Lost. You deserve it. Finish it. Okay. Thanks for that. No, I don't need that. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what I'm going for. Okay. Nothing I can use there. Well. So do I have to keep running through the house? Okay, I don't like this hallway because it reminds me so much of Resident Evil. So, thing number one, we teleported. Don't like that. Thing number two, it looks like the Resident Evil hallway where the dog comes through the window, right? Like that, not okay. And I don't have a weapon, so I don't know what to do about that. So, you know, can I just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, you know, can we, can we teleport somewhere else? Whoa, whoa. Freaking banana crackers. Aw, oh, come on! <laughs> That's not okay. Okay, Lee keeps locking me in places.
False sense of security taken care of, guys. Don't worry. Reconnect with your partner, rebuild your relationship, rediscover the joy of marriage, rekindle the flame. Don't worry, you're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on the silver screen, but the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth. Nobody's perfect. And you know what? That's fine. In fact, many loving couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. This does not make them any less special. You're all special little snowflakes. All of you. All of you. It just takes some work, and we're here to help. Our consultants, all trained experts in their fields, will help you identify the source of your troubles and deal with it at your own pace. Whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities, where there's the pro where there's a problem, there's always a solution. And remember, it's never too late. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, it's fine. I'm having fun. I can't get through that. I don't want to be in here. It's dark. And it don't let me click the light switch. What is that thing? It looks like an alligator. Looks like he's swinging from an alligator. Just out of reach. <laughs> okay. Nope. That's not okay. I don't want to go back out there. It does. It just kind of stacks the fear on. It's fine. Just a little more. Just a little bit more. It's fine. We're just going to just keep piling it up. Nope. Why do I not have something, like, legit to drink right now? Oh, come on! No! Nope! You can't make me. Oh, you can make me. I keep shutting the door behind me. Are the lights gonna go out? Oh, look, she's so pretty. Oh, did I get to keep it? Going in circles. Oh. It's fine. It's just a goat reading to people. Dang it. Stop locking me in. Do you hear that? What was that? Is that just me walking on the floor? It sounds like scurrying. Oh, thank you. Eight, five, four. Eight, five, four. Okay, I don't see any other numbers. That's not okay. Let's talk about how not okay all of this crap is right now. What are they doing to him? There's voices in my head. Guys.